Okay, so in this tutorial we will be showing you how to use mess mixer to combine the four hole adapter with the patient's residual limb scan. So we're going to go over here, we're going to open up mesh mixer, we're going to hit not now, and we're going to select import. We're going to open up the four hole adapter and import it into here. So some of the things the mouse movement that you can do, you can zoom in and out using your middle mouse button, the scroll wheel. You can translate it up and down, left and right, your entire frame of reference by pushing down your middle mouse button. And you can rotate it like this, up, down, around, however you'd like, using your right click on your mouse button. Okay, we'll be using left click to just select things. Now we'll go to edit, transform, and we will change this to 90 degrees, rotate about the x-axis. We want it so that the top face without the holes is facing up and the bottom one is the one with the holes. Okay, hit accept. Then go to align, hit accept again. This makes it so that the base of the four hole adapter is level with the reference base. We will now go to import, append, and we're going to import the patient limb scan. So we're going to open that. It says it's too large and it wants to know if we want Mesh Mixer to try and automatically repair this. Select no. Okay. Move your object browser off to the side. Zoom out a little bit. Move it up. Get it nice and centered. We are now using, you can see in the object browser that I can select between the two of these. We will select the patient limb scan. We go to transform. We will rotate about the X 180 degrees, and then we will move this up so that it's like that. Now we want these holes to be on the sides of this the residual limb. So what we're going to do is we're also going to rotate about the Y axis 90 degrees. So now we can see that these holes are on the sides of the patient's limb and instead of the front and the back. So now we're just going to eyeball it and we're going to try and get this in the middle of the four hole adapter. So the way I like to do it is I like to go to the side, I like to go to the front, it looks good. Then I like to adjust it down and then try to use this to center it. Now this will depend based on what kind of limb you have, if it's symmetrical or not. But you generally you're just going to eyeball it what you think it is. Okay, then. We're going to leave it up a little ways and hit accept. Okay, now we are going to hit select. We're going to choose the brush size. The brush size, can, brush size can be adjusted right here. You can see it moving up and down. You want to get something around 55, 60 it looks like. It's going to depend on the size of your scan. Then you're going to want to go over here and you're going to be defining your ridge line using this command. So. We're going to go here, we're going to follow the ridge line that was made in Omega. We're just going to hold down left click to do this. Um, and we're just selecting the areas of the face that we want to be using. So the cool thing about this is if I go out of, if I make a mistake, I can just go back, hold shift, and then left click, and it will erase wherever I've made a mistake. So see I'm erasing that if I let go of shift, I can redo it and I can once again start selecting. So if you make any mistakes, just you can undo it with shift. So I made a little mistake. There, fixed. So you just want to get right along the ridge line. Don't miss anywhere. Okay, now we're gonna adjust the brush size to full size it looks like and we're just going to color in everything underneath along the residual limb scan. I like to give it a once over on the